Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. In September of 2018, China Focus tweeted out a math word problem from a Chinese elementary school student's homework. While I was trying to track down the actual problem, I found that it was also asked in March of 2018 in a math kangaroo competition. The interesting part is that this question was targeted towards grades 9 and 10. Now, I can't confirm which problem actually appeared first, but I do find it interesting that a problem for grades 9 and 10 in a math kangaroo competition was given as an elementary school student's homework in China. So what was the question? We have a table, and at the bottom of the table, we have a sleeping cat. On the table, we have a sitting cat. The distance between the top of the sleeping cat and the top of the sitting cat is given as 150 centimeters. Now we also have another diagram with an identical table, but this time the two positions of the cats are reversed. At the top of the table is the sleeping cat, and at the bottom of the table is the sitting cat. You are also given the distance between the top of the sitting cat and the top of the sleeping cat is 110 centimeters. The question is, how tall is the table? At first glance, this problem seems quite impossible. How can you figure out the height of the table from the distances given? You don't know the height of the sitting cat or the height of the sleeping cat. So how does this all work out? Let's go through it step by step. Let's focus on one diagram at a time. Let's just get started by focusing on the left diagram. We wish to solve for the height of the table. This is an unknown quantity. Let's denote this unknown quantity by a variable. So let's sketch the height of the table from the floor, and let's denote this by the variable t. There are also other unknowns in this diagram. We don't know the height of the sitting cat or the sleeping cat. Let's denote a variable for each of these unknowns. Let's say the height of the sitting cat is the variable c, and let's say the height of the cat that is asleep is the variable a. We have three unknowns, c, a, and t. Now it would be useful to relate these unknowns to each other. So here's a clever trick in the problem. Let's consider the height from the floor to the top of the sitting cat. If we transfer the distance of the sitting cat to the left, we can now measure the height from the floor to the top of the sitting cat in two different ways. One way will be c plus t. That'll be the left side of the diagram. Now, if we go to the right side of the diagram, the same distance will be equal to 150 plus a. So we have the equation c plus t is equal to 150 plus a. Now let's analyze the other diagram. Here we have the same table, but the positions of the sleeping and the sitting cat are exchanged. We still have three unknowns, the height of the table, the height of the sitting cat, and the height of the sleeping cat. But between the two diagrams, these unknowns should have the same value. So we will have the same value t for the height of the table, we have the same value c for the height of the sitting cat, and we have the same value a for the height of the asleep cat. We can now measure the distance from the floor to the top of the sleeping cat in two different ways. On the left side of the diagram, this will be the distance a plus t, and on the right side of the diagram, this will be the distance 110 plus c. So we have the equation a plus t is equal to 110 plus c. So let's put the two equations together. We have three variables, c, a, and t, but we only have two equations. So in general, we may not be able to solve for each of the variables. But in this problem, we don't need to solve for all three variables, we only need to solve for t, the height of the table. So let's see if there's a way that we could cancel out the other variables. 
In this question, there's a nice little trick. We can add the two equations together. On the left side of the equation, we have a plus c plus t plus t. So this is a plus c plus 2t. On the right side of the equation, we have a plus c plus 110 plus 150. Now, all we need to do is simplify this equation. Notice that there's an a on the left side of the equation, which will cancel out with an a on the right side of the equation, and we have a c on the left side of the equation, which cancels out with a c on the right side of the equation. What remains is 2t is equal to 110 plus 150, which means 2t is equal to 260, and dividing both sides by 2, we get that t is equal to 130 centimeters. The height of the table is 130 centimeters, and we've solved the problem. So we have solved the problem in a rather unexpected way. But let's summarize what we did. We set up two equations with three unknown variables. We then figured out a way to cancel out two of the variables to solve for the one variable that we wanted, which was the height of the table. This is a challenging problem, and it would be suitable for a math competition for ninth and 10th grade students. But how could it possibly be asked to elementary school students in China? So I got to thinking, is there any other way to solve this problem? Is there any visual approach? Is there an outside the box solution? Eventually, here's what I came up with. There is a sleeping cat on the floor in the left diagram, and we have a sleeping cat on top of the table in the right diagram. What would happen if we were to superimpose these two figures? What would the resulting diagram be? So I went ahead and did this. But we still don't have a solution. So where do we go from here? Let's analyze it further. Let's start out by setting a variable for the height of the table. We have another height of the table, but we still have a distance to the top, which will be the height of the sitting cat C. Now on the right side, we also have the sitting cat C at the bottom. And now came the Eureka moment. We can calculate the distance from the floor to the top of the sitting cat in two different ways. We have the heights on the left side of the diagram and the heights on the right side of the diagram. But rather than setting up equations, let's just notice that there's a C on the left side and a C on the right side. But they're in different positions. But what would happen if we were to rearrange these heights? What if we moved this distance C all the way to the bottom and shifted up the heights of the two tables? That way we would effectively cancel out the height of the sitting cat. We now see that the height of two tables is exactly given in distances that are known. So we have t plus t is equal to 150 plus 110. This means 2t is equal to 260. And dividing both sides of the equation by 2, we have that t is equal to 130 centimeters. And that's the other way you could solve this problem visually. What an interesting question. I'm fascinated that elementary school students in China could have been given this fun and interesting puzzle. If you come across anything interesting, whether in your country or a different country, please send it my way. I love covering problems like this. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.